I wanna eat bags of chips on the water. <laughs> We are in our new favorite town in the south, Wilmington, North Carolina. We would wanted to come here for a while now because I've been watching One Tree Hill. I've been trying to get her to watch One Tree Hill. Not he that has a place me to watch it. Not that a place to determine where you want to travel to, but that's kind of what happened in this situation. This town is super cute and we cannot wait to show you all the cool places. So far, one of the best parts of this downtown is the boardwalk on the river. We love boardwalks, you've heard us talk about boardwalks, and this one is really good. Oh my gosh, people live here. A guy just came out with his bag of chips. That would be the place I wanna live. An old warehouse building right next to the water. I mean, look, you get to watch the boats come in and out. There's a tourist boat like every five minutes. I wanna eat bags of chips on the water. <laughs> Anything to say about the boardwalk? Yeah. So this is interesting to have a boardwalk on a river because they have like restaurants i can't tell if this is a floating it is like it's literally rocking with the waves it is a floating restaurant and they have like a waiting area on the land with a guy set up to play live music this is actually really really cool cars like mine lose their tires. Gotta watch out. So what is interesting about the Wilmington downtown, which I'm really liking aesthetically, is that it has a lot of brick because it's really old. I mean, like this was definitely a port town at one point, probably still is, but like it ha the brick is giving it this kind of like industrial grunge feel. It's just, it's really interesting. It's much different from the other Southern towns we visited. But we got two flavors, Mackinac Island Fudge and Traverse City Cherry, also Michigan. This is about to be so good. Mm, this is like Cherry Garcia type cherry, like real cherries. It looks super fake and pink, but the cherry flavor is super real. Michigan Fudge, I thought we were in North Carolina. What's going on? Oh my God. Yeah, you're gonna love this. As long as I don't eat all of it. Mm, you're right. It does taste fake, but no, it doesn't taste fake. I oh. said it looks fake. You're right. It looks fake, but <laughs> okay, Over. maybe. The ice cream was so good and now it's time for the nerd to come out and me. So thank you for dealing with the next four minutes of chaos as we try and hit every single One Tree Hill location that they shot at. Let the fangirling begin. Okay, the reason I told you that right here is because this is Chris Keller's record shop where Peyton used to go and get records. And it's like crazy that it's actually still here selling stuff. Y'all, we found it. We have to go in the store. Went through hell seriously. This was a big moment in the show, and you're just know. laughing at it. I'm sorry. Oh my it's gosh. It's just so filled with teenage eggs. I can't handle it. Yes. Totes and everything. T shirts, hats, totes. It doesn't matter. And now 
we made it to the world famous River Court. And I know you guys are like, I haven't even watched this show. Why are you so excited? But this is where a lot of the scenes happen because basketball was the life of One Tree Hill for so long. And they play basketball right behind us on the court that is no longer here. But just look at this view. That's why they put the scene here every single time because the view of the city is amazing. I will say, I wasn't like, the, I'm not such a huge fan. But it is actually cool to like watch the show and then be here. Because I was like, oh, this is actually it. Like, that's those are the buildings you see behind them all the time. This is actually really cool. Park benches, and they are filled with One Tree Hill quotes. This is so hilarious. I'm telling you guys, this is like a big show. Like, no one thinks about it, but it is. Haley James. Keith. Dun, dun, dun. It is so funny. Oh my gosh, this is so good. Really? Yeah, it's cream cheese yogurt, whatever that means. So it tastes like cream cheese icing, and then you have like Oreo crumbles of red velvet cake. This is there amazing. any significance of red velvet in One Tree Hill? <laughs> I mean, Karen's Cafe sold bakery items, but it's there mostly eating pies. I don't think they actually ever had red velvet. Nope, there's the connection right there. There you go, it's all connected. One Tree Hill location. And now we made it to Tree Hill High School, which is actually a community college here right in downtown Wilmington. And I cannot find where the scene that I'm looking for is, but I recognize these pillars from many kissing scenes from many different couples. <laughs> like, I think they walked here, and then this was like, used to be the area where the parents picked up, and now there's a giant parking garage. I'm not really sure. Okay. This is just your Chad Michael Murray face. This okay. is my best Chad Michael Murray face, okay? <laughs> I can't even do it. <laughs> I gotta think about it. <laughs> All right, and now we're in front of Peyton Sawyer's house. She lived here by herself. So many crazy things happened in this house. I'll just roll the scenes now. There's only room for one guy in Peyton's life. Okay, so you said we were never friends, huh? Never meant anything to you? Fine. Want to see something else? Whoa. Oh. 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 Stop. Oh. Yeah, uh, there's lots of people in these houses that we are driving by. So we want to show you all these houses. You're probably not even interested, but it's just kind of getting weird because like there's people <laughs> in Lucas's room right now watching football in the bedroom that so many scenes were shot in. So we're right outside the house. We would show it to you, but we just feel like this is disrespectful. So we're going to go back into the city and get some more One Tree Hill sites. Also, I want to say that Leah is fangirling a lot harder than I thought she was. I just told her this is Lucas's house and she was like... <gasps> And we were getting all the stuff at the gift shop, which we actually didn't buy anything. But you were like, this is real? I don't know why you're so excited because you didn't care about Wintry Hill until now, but apparently we have a new fan. And now we've just parked in this neighborhood where the bridge is. He went over this bridge at the beginning of every show. And I think a lot of people have been here because this is where all the new development's happening. Everyone wants to live next to the bridge. But. It's closed. Here we go. But this is where like the opening scene where he's like being like all moody with his hood up and he's like bouncing the basketball and it's like, I don't want to be in a world alone. I think I found it. What? There's no door here. It was fake. They took out the step. Okay, but it was Karen's Cafe where Luke's mom worked. All right, and that about wraps up our trip to Wilmington. This place is truly spectacular. Who knew that you could have such a small town feel, but an urban environment? I know, it's like the big city, but it really does feel small and quaint. I like it a lot. I do too, what was your favorite part? Seeing you get so excited about One Tree Hill, I think, probably. I'm like <laughs> disappointed that I got that excited. I don't know, you tell me <laughs> if it's too much to get excited about a show, I don't know. I feel like I shouldn't have been so excited, but it was fun. I feel like like our hunt to find places where they filmed though, mm -hmm. made this a little bit more exciting. Cause it's like kind of like an overcast day, you know? And it just made it more eventful, I think. Yes, my favorite part was the ice cream. It was so good. <laughs> 
All right, and that about wraps it up for Wilmington. There's a Jeep coming down the street, and this shot's gonna be way too loud. Who's complaining about spiders? Ah.